we will hold you accountable for violating the public trust. Strong words from the U.S. attorney today after more than $100,000 goes missing. We've been following the case out of Jackson Township in Sullivan County for months. Recently, Frank and Antoinette Magin agreed to a guilty plea of wire fraud. On November 8th, they stepped down from their positions as trustee and clerk. Well, now the township is cleaning up with a smaller budget after the theft. News 10's Jacqueline Beavis went down to Pleasantville to see what's left. As you can see, we had a leak. The leak in this gymnasium roof seems a bit symbolic. The township leaked tens of thousands of dollars to an untrustworthy appointed trustee. As of November 10th, it's Lonnie Todd's job to fix more than just the roof. Take over the uh, paying of the bills uh, and the upkeep and of the buildings and mowing. Three buildings in all, but this one seems a little extra special. I grew up here and uh, I care about it. The silence of the court and these empty seats don't match his memories, but the strength of the community is reminiscent. I want to see this community grow again. Uh, anything I can do, I'm going to try to do it. The fire department next door falls under his budget as well, and it's not a cheap one. Heating the fire department uh, all the time. We've got to keep it warm in there. You know, those trucks got to be ready to go. But he wants to make it a better department, a better basketball court, and a better place to live. These people around here deserve to be taken care of just as well as anybody else. As for the case against the machines, Todd doesn't seem to be looking in that direction. What's in the past is in the past, and let's just go forward. There's a lot of makeup to do, and uh, we've got to try to get some things going around here. For many in Pleasantville, it's the hope of something new up ahead. With photojournalist Chris James, Jacqueline Beavis, News 10. As for the fire department, they're working on merging through a territory option. That would give them help with cost, but keep fire trucks in the township. But the process is still in the early stages.